In this unit, we're going to define what Linux is for you, its components, and where it originated. We're going to list the advantages of using Linux in today's world, define what GNU GPL licensing is, what exactly it means to Linux developers and Linux users. The Linux command interpreters that are available are many. They read and parse the commands and are used as the go-between between the user and the kernel. They occur as command line interpreters. Examples of these command line interpreters are the simple shell, the bash shell, which stands for the born again shell, which was adopted and adapted for by Linux, the corn shell, and various other shells that might be required by programmers. You can also download a graphical user interface which makes learning and supporting desktop shells a lot easier. For example, KDE and GNOME. KDE being the popular one that was started many years ago, still in use today. GNOME, which is a compatible desktop which has been put together by industry um, interested parties and is now an interest and is built upon industry standard protocols, very similar to KDE. Linux began back in 1991 by a grad student called Linus Torvalds. He decided he was going to write his own operating system and make it available to anyone else who wanted to join in and build an operating system. It originally started on a 386 machine and since then has had all of the necessary code adjustments made to run on 64-bit machines. And the entire industry has provided Linus Torvalds with the direction to be able to do this.